Public spending on ag research in the U.S. has declined sharply over the years. It can take years for funding to make a difference because of problems like hiring backlogs and infrastructure needs. At the American Sugar Beet Growers Association's annual meeting in Orlando, Jenny Schlecht learned how the new Sustainable Sugar Beet Research Initiative will help growers and the industry. It could take a while for government funding for research to get where it needs to go. But a new initiative in the sugar beet industry is hoping to change things. Any good idea has a chance at being funded through this program. Rebecca Larson is the chief scientist at Western Sugar Company and helped develop the Sustainable Sugar Beet Research Initiative. She wanted to figure out how to make sure research funding reached the highest impact projects that have the best chance of making it to the farm. A lot of our needs on the farm are ever changing and so we have to throw a lot of spaghetti at the wall to see what's going to work. So this gives us more flexibility in how we spend those dollars. So if we reach a dead end in a project, we can quickly pivot to something new, which was never possible within the USDA system before. She developed the program with Melvin Bolton, research leader and plant pathologist at the USDA ARS Northern Crop Science Laboratory in Fargo. Scientists from anywhere can apply for funds for projects that are graded on merit and impact to the industry. And he says it's already making a difference. There's some fantastic things that are happening from um, using uh, RNAi to target weeds and, and, and insects to uh, some egg engineering proposals that are uh, using drones to identify weeds in the field and all sorts of innovative uh, technologies. In Orlando, Florida, this is Jenny Schlecht for Ag Week. The first round of funding went out in July. Thanks for watching Ag Week TV on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday.